All right, let's get some synths in here. Great. I like that already. That's the perfect volume for synths. I'm annoying, I'm annoying, I'm annoying, I'm annoying, I'm annoying. All right. Let me use a different EQ for this stuff. I'm doing this for you guys. I want you I want you guys to feel the feel the pain. So we don't need lows in these strings. Okay, so I kind of want to get rid of some of the mid kind of stuff that uh could interfere with the guitars, but I want to make sure that we still keep them sounding expensive and nice. So I'm looking to get rid of some stuff at like mids and high mids and we'll see it where we go from there. Right there, I don't like it. It's gonna die now. But now it does sound a little dull, so I'm just gonna add a shelf. I didn't really change the, the character of it too much. I just, if you, if you listen, it almost sounds the same, just without all the crap. Can you guys hear the difference? It's like, it's not a big transformation. It's literally just like removing a layer of crap from the mids and the lows. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear that difference. Doing this over and over is because one thing that people fuck up routinely are uh, orchestra sounds. They just don't know how to go for it. So one of the things that I want to say is that like one of the one of the first places to look when you have synth orchestra is uh, if it's well written like this. Uh, rather than trying to transform it, try to kind of shave it down, like shave off the the synthy garbage that's in there that you don't need. Anyone responding? I'm asking the audience to type a one if they hear the difference and two if they don't. Got a couple ones so far. Cool. Yeah. I think people can hear it. Got a 1.5, that's an interesting answer. 1.5. Applause. What's that? <laughs> I'm applauding him for not answering. <laughs> what the hell does 1.5 mean? Because uh, I said either 1 or a 2, and he put 1.5. So he can kind of hear it. Yeah. Bastard, learn to hear it. Just kidding. Um, Somebody else said, I didn't know what to do with the strings other than put a high pass. That's so, why I'm. That's why I'm going into yeah. this. There's yeah. You could get away with just high passing stuff, but uh, if you want to hear the strings, um, the idea is to bring out what's cool, kind of like with guitars, and get rid of what sucks. And with these fake strings, there's going to be a lot of synthy garbage in there that just kind of clouds. It'll cloud the string sound and cloud the mix. So uh, that's what I'm kind of looking to get rid of. Um, and some of them don't totally need that. So let's listen to this epic choir, bros. So epic. <laughs> Now 
let's be real. Does that really need all that low end in there? There's a ridiculous amount of low end. It'll no. sound just fine without it. Difference before it's a rumbly, soupy mess. <laughs> soupy, uh, that's great. Right? It sounds just like you're like a lumpy, stir soupy mess. You're just like stirring a thick soup of choir, and here, like you actually know what's in there. It's like just trying to suck milkshake through a straw, and it just won't come out. Whereas this is like a finely crafted specimen. <laughs> You guys need to know with this stuff it's louder than you think it is. This is the synth sound he was talking about. I'm gonna bring this up next to the lead real quick because it goes, you know, parallel to it. And uh, I can tell you right now, I'm cutting the lows out. I'm not even, this isn't even up for argument. All right, so don't argue. Um, Be the the synth sound he's talking about. Possibly. It wasn't in the song earlier though. Oh, okay. Right? No, but he might have thought it was. Uh, I don't know. If he had worked on this. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying, bro, bro. What I'm getting at is that that sounds better now, but it's a little too uh, plinky plunky. And so uh, I'm gonna add a decapitator on it. Um, decapitator will help warm it up, but also help it pop. And we're all about popping, so. <laughs> Pretty cool. Well, I like this so far. I like this. It's my favorite part. Cool. 
heart back and I'm turning it down This song needs a lot of automation. I'm just telling you guys now. Uh, the To really actually mix this song, like, to where it's like, uh, you know, something you could release or send to the band, I'm not... Well, I could send it to the band before automation, ho hoping that they don't freak out about certain things. But uh, this song needs automation. Like a lot of it too so this kind of might be a two-day mix for me you know if it was joel it would be a three-hour mix since his actual normal speed is one hour but um for normal people it might be uh it might be a two-day situation just one day to kind of get it static and sounding good and then another day to like refine the details because there's just so much to do so also when you guys watch Nail the Mix and stuff and see us power through a song, keep in mind also that, like, uh, it's okay to take more than one sitting on a song. There's no, no shame in that. Oh, look at that. Shitty automation point ruining my day.